It's safe to say influencers can be really dumb sometimes. And while PewDiePie's had his controversies, getting banned for being inappropriate, that makes you wonder, what do you do this time? What did I do? That was so bad. After three long days, a Roblox staff member explained the words PewDie was being used as a negative meme. Anyone associated with it, including the man himself, was banned. How could they do this? SMH Roblox, you banned? PewDiePie? You what? When Ninja decided to return to Apex Legends for the first time in months, he spent all day setting it up, advertising on stream, only for it to be unplayable. Oh Client's game account is been banned. I'm banned. I can't play. What a waste of literally my night right now. Pretty reasonable to be upset, but at least Ninja was able to roll with the punches. I haven't played that game in like six months. It, it, I queued up into the game, and then as we found the match, it would kick me out. I have not done anything. Plus, I haven't hacked it on that game in like a year, so there's just no way. Someone who actually deserved a ban was Captain Baldy. He was gaining a ton of popularity for his ridiculous aim on Warzone. But when everyone accused him of hacking, he tried to prove himself innocent in the worst possible way. Control delete. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's over. <laughs> Not only was he banned from Warzone, but Twitch also gave him a permanent suspension. Shroud is one of the biggest streamers in the world, and when he was playing PUBG in 2018, I don't think anyone expected a hacker to join the lobby. Can you get me in the zone? Can you get me in the zone, dude? Yeah, get in, get in, Shroud. I'm trying to get in, get in. Get in. I'm coming, I'm coming. These well, hackers kindly gave Shroud a free ride, but then showed up later demolishing his friend. That was the best game of PUBG I've ever played. I don't care. What anyone says. Now, it seems like innocent fun until Shroud logged in later to see this. Come on, man. One of the strangest ways a creator got banned was Moist Critical when he booted up Halo Infinite. Because it was an early access, Charlie thought it'd be funny to break the game as fast as possible. But of course, <laughs> this backfired. Now I've been banned. Oh, wait, it actually says user is banned. Like forever? <laughs> Taking yourself out too many times is rough, but what does Halo mean there's not enough similar players to match with? I mean, that's gotta yeah, hurt. Yeah. And he's obviously not the first person to get banned for doing something dumb. Dr. Disrespect is known for being aggressive. I mean, it's literally in his name. This game is terrible. It is. It's the worst Call of Duty ever. Of course, you can't go around harassing people on proximity chat. And Guy revealed he was actually banned for doing this a few days later. They banned my other one for seven days for proximity chat use. Spam? Yeah, it was probably spam, but... I mean, was it? Meryl? You know, was it really? Now, at least he wasn't blacklisted by a developer, and this happened in 2021 when Nick Merckx hosted an Apex Legends tournament sponsored by EA. He wanted to invite his friends to compete, but EA stepped in and told Nick that train wrecks couldn't join because of his reputation with gambling. A pretty reasonable response, except this was from EA, the company who makes the most profit from gambling loot cases, so talk about being hypocritical. A much clearer ban was one of XQC's most controversial moments at the height of his Overwatch career. He played for a team called Dow's Fuel, and during their first season, they lost to the Houston Outlaw laws, which caused a lot of drama. One of the Outlaws players celebrated the win by parodying XQC's catchphrase, and let's just say he didn't have the best response. No, no, he didn't smoke. Uh, no. Shut your mouth, go back there. Not the best choice of words because he was instantly suspended from the Overwatch League and fined $2,000. Well, he could probably afford that. While XQC is one of the biggest Overwatch streamers, when it comes to World of Warcraft, that title goes to Asmongold. You would think this would build trust between him and the developers, but last year he was mysteriously banned. Blizzard account has been suspended. They shut me down. I want to say thank you, Blizzard. This is going to be great clickbait on YouTube. You obviously f up and didn't mean to suspend me. The email goes on to say that advertising or participating in the sale of in-game achievements, progression, or rewards would cause a ban. They basically accused them of helping lower level players rank up quickly, which was obviously untrue. But hey, as he pointed out, it made for a great YouTube video. And it turns out you could be banned from a game even if the developers gave you permission to break the rules. It's Timmy, is a very popular Twitch streamer who plays Apex Legends and Valorant. And one day he asked Riot Games if he could do a speed run from the lowest rank to the highest. They said yes, but he would get banned after the marathon was over. And so he started to stream knowing the consequences. Well, only problem, Timmy never got to finish the marathon because halfway into the run, this happened. 10 seconds left. Uh, what? <laughs> I mean, he's not the only one to be falsely punished, because Nate Shaw was just trying to run some games in Warzone 2 when he realized no one was playing. This is one of the biggest games in the world, so it was pretty suspicious he couldn't find a lobby. So his chat persuaded him to check his account, and that's when Nate Shaw discovered he had been shadow banned. For what? How in the world could it be possible for me, a 30-year-old man who can't even shoot straight anymore, to get shadow banned? Meanwhile, I got people booting up Cronuses 
that are literally cheating. One of the funniest bans happened in the form of Instant Karma to League of Legends streamer Avail. He got in a toxic fight with another player, so they reported him, only to instantly find out the guy got banned. I reported you and you got banned? Oh no! And I got banned as well! So now we're both banned! I mean, you gotta appreciate some equal justice. Now, that's not the only case of bad timing. When Annie Fuchsia first played New World, no one in her chat expected milking cows to be against the rules. What? <laughs> and I show Speed knows all about getting banned, but the most notorious incident is also one of his most regrettable moments. Playing Valorant, he was getting really angry and started arguing with almost everyone in the lobby. One of them was a girl, and Speed said some very offensive things that got Riot's attention, so they blacklisted him from all of their games. Oh, that was pretty deserved. Clix was the center of a huge debate last month after getting banned for teaming in Fortnite, except he wasn't. While playing a tournament, a stream sniper entered Clix's game, stalking and dealing constant damage to him. He wanted to get the sniper banned, so he asked him to prove he was watching the stream by dropping items. But one big problem, Clix picked up these heals and killed the enemy before going on to win the game. In Epic Games' eyes, this was against the rules and they banned him from teaming. According to Clix, this means he'll miss the next two grand finals and a LAN event later this year, all for picking up a stream sniper's pizza. And he's not the only one to feel targeted by Epic Games. Tifu was one of the biggest creators in the world in 2018 and had spent over $5,000 on Fortnite skins. He wanted some of the rarest cosmetics and the only way to do this was buying someone else's account and this ended horribly. Not only did Epic ban the account he bought, but they also banned his main, causing Tifu to only wear default skins from that point forward. Now, luckily, he was later unbanned, but Yeti Boy didn't get the same treatment. He was a small streamer who opened Steam one day to be greeted by this alert. Steam support has been contacted by the cardholder who confirmed they didn't authorize the purchases on this account, and let's just say he wasn't happy. You know that call and email that you made to Steam? Yeah. They disabled my account and banned me. So that's hundreds of games down the drain you own me now. Not only were all of his games removed, but his whole Steam account was blocked for three months. And the cherry on top, the way he treated his mom caused Yeedy Boy to get a permanent ban from Twitch. So his day got a whole lot worse. One of the craziest stories has to be the punishment of Rowdy Rogan. He was a six-year-old prodigy who dominated players in Warzone. With the help of his dad, Rogan got a big following and even started winning money in tournaments. But that's when things took a heartbreaking turn. One morning they started streaming opened the game and saw this. What? Dude, chat, no way, bro. No way. Free Rogan started trending on Twitter, his follower count shot up, and people were desperate to get him unbanned. The response was overwhelming, and it turns out that's exactly what they wanted. A few days later, they revealed this was a huge publicity stunt to get the attention of FaZe Clan. Rogan was challenged to make a viral video, and he came up with this, and let's just say it worked because he signed with FaZe and is now at a million subs on YouTube. Those are streamers banned from video games. It's been Tommy, and keep it here on T5G.